Ethan Newberry, the ginger runner here. Um, today has been a really tough day. I am now safe back in LA. Was in Boston this morning. As you probably have watched my videos over the last couple of days, I've been there taking up the marathon spirit and uh, uh, getting behind the scenes stuff. And today was, of course, the big race. And uh, before I get started kind of talking to you guys a little bit um, about this video, I just want to say thoughts and prayers and heart go out to everyone that's been affected by the tragedy. Those of you who are in Boston, those of you who were there, those of you who are racing, those of you who are uh, living outside of Boston and maybe in another state or another country who have loved ones that were there, um, I'm thinking about you tonight and I've been thinking about you guys all day. So I, I wanted to make this video purely out of respect. Um, I made the videos over the last couple of days for the running community because I know that you guys enjoy them. Uh, I enjoy making them. I, I have a lot of fun doing what I do and I, I had the most amazing opportunity to do these videos in Boston thanks to Newton Running. and and. Uh, I got to meet so many of you guys out there, um, so many fans at the expo and people who are racing and stuff like that. So um, when I made this video series, I wanted to make sure I made a video every day. And I was shooting video today in anticipation of making and editing the video for tonight. But obviously things have, have kind of changed. So you're just kind of getting me talking and I'm sorry if I don't make any sense or any of that kind of stuff. It's been a very long day. I'm exhausted and I've been on the phone and trying to get a hold of as many people as possible. Uh, I also want to say thank you to the volunteers. For every volunteer at any race, uh, thank you. You guys put more hours out there um, helping us to finish our race and, and you guys don't get thanked enough. You guys don't get thanked enough at all. <clears throat> And hearing some of the stories that I've been hearing about the volunteers at the Boston Marathon, stopping what they're doing and helping other people, it, in that moment of crisis, is, uh, it, it blows my mind and just shows how valuable they are to what we do and our enjoyment of the sport. So to all of the volunteers and those who are affected, thank you. So I'll start off by kind of describing today for me. So here's kind of how it went down. Um, Brandon, who uh, works with Newton Running and uh, is their social media guy, and myself, we're in the same hotel. Uh, so we got up very early because we were going to be setting up our viewing area at mile 20, just at the base of Heartbreak Hill for the marathon. So we got up at like 5.45, um, very little sleep, so kind of delirious, and, but still having fun. And the atmosphere and the energy in the city this morning was amazing uh, and it was even yesterday like running around the city it's just the energy is so great so positive uh, so we got up early we got all of our gear together and I had to pack my bags because I had to leave from the race directly to the airport because I was flying out my flight left at 1:30 uh, p.m. East Coast time uh, my time is all messed up right now we watched the, the wheelchair racers and uh, the disabled racers, uh, the elite women, the elite men. But at this point, I'm just, I'm totally caught up in it. This is the first time I was just right there, super close to these elite runners. And uh, it was awesome. It was so awesome because the whole weekend had been building up to this. And it, it was really, really great. So after watching the elite men and women pass, I had to leave. I had to get into a taxi and get straight to the airport to catch my flight. And I had a layover in Dallas. So when I landed in Dallas, the second I hit the runway, I turned my phone on and text message, text message, text message. It literally did not stop vibrating even as I was holding it. And I, but the first text I read said, I hope you're still alive. I hope you're okay. And that's when I knew something had happened. And that's when I started kind of piecing details together and stuff like that and panicked, lost it. Um, first thing I thought of was the Newton crew, the P3 
people who had taken care of me all weekend. I needed to know that they were okay. I knew that they were in Boston. I needed to know that the people who I had personally met, personally shook hands with, who had come up to me and said, you're the ginger runner, you inspire me. And I'm like, no, 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 you guys inspire me. Like the people who came to the booth, who I saw at the expo, who I went running with this weekend. I mean, I was freaking out. All these people who I had just had experiences with, I needed to know that they were okay. And I, I, I didn't even know how to do that. I didn't know how bad it was. I didn't know what specifically had happened in Boston. Regardless, I spent a good amount of time trying to reply to texts, trying to find out what was going on, letting my loved ones know that I was okay. I had been in the air the entire time with zero communication. Nobody really knew where I was except for my girlfriend. And thank God that she was able to help spread the news that I was okay. But it was at that point, I was rattled. Uh, I was absolutely rattled uh, from that point on. And I haven't been able to stop thinking about it and trying to figure out what to say here with you guys. And I'm sorry, I'm totally rambling. Uh, I know I don't want to ramble. This is probably very, very boring, but uh, I also think it's important because of the stuff I'm gonna get to. For those of you who are not runners, the Boston Marathon is the pinnacle. It's the ultimate goal for any marathoner or any road runner, any runner in general, young, old, fat, small, global. It's a global stage and you have to work so hard to get there. You have to qualify. To run in the Boston, you have to, you have to qualify. You have to run the marathon in a certain amount of time. For me, at this point, that goal is so out of reach that it's like I am thinking years out when I might be able to qualify for the Boston Marathon. And there's people who I know have worked harder than I will ever work and qualified and were there running that race. So for those of you who are non-runners and might just blow this off as just another thing, another attack or whatever, know that the people who are affected, they were, they worked so hard to get there. Worked so hard. Um, and that, that, so it's important to the running community. That's why it's important to us. That's why the Boston Marathon is, is, is such a thing. Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy to get there. Um, so now to the running community. We are a family, right? We are all connected by this bond, uh, the pursuit of the same passion. We all have our own stories. I have my story. I won't go into it now because it's just it's not the time. But everyone has their own story, right? And that absolutely connects us to each other. And this is the time that we embrace those stories. We embrace the connective bonds between all of us. Um, we all started doing this for a reason. Don't stop. And I've talked to multiple runners, uh, people that I run with down here in LA, people that I run with from around the country and back home. And it, it, we all agree, it's we, we can't stop. We can't let fear take over us. Fear is one of the main reasons why I run because it scares me and I want to push myself beyond that limit. Uh, I want to go farther than I've ever gone before. I want to go faster than I've ever gone before. And that's why I do it because there's this, there's this area of the unknown and I don't know how I'm going to handle it. And that scares me. And you know what? That's exactly why I do it. That's exactly why. Because I want to face fear and I want to conquer it. I want to beat it. And so in this situation, runners are going to be scared. Everyone's going to be scared. I'm scared. But that's no reason to stop because running is a passion and it's something that keeps us and bonds us together. Um, Brandon, who I was in Boston with, uh, part of the Newton crew, wrote this on his Facebook wall tonight. And uh, I'm, I asked him if I could read it. And he said, absolutely. Um, so I'm going to quote Brandon because I think what he said is eloquent and will say what I'm trying to say probably much better because I'll be able to read it. A run can heal. A run can uplift. A run can bring joy. A run can give perspective on pain. A run can bring people together. And a run can take you away from people who bring you down. A run may hurt, 
but it never hurts you. You may crush it, but it will always come back for more. A run may crush you, but you will always come back for more. You've known the run since you were a child, and it will always take you back there. Today's events in Boston are as disgusting and as mind-boggling as any other senseless tragedy. You know what, though? There will always be a tomorrow and a day after that. And while senseless tragedy and terror will always be the tool of evil, the run will always remain. Uh, this last part is exactly what I want to try to get across. Go for a run. Do it today. Start now. And don't stop. Uh, so thank you, Brandon, for writing those words. I honestly couldn't have said it better myself. If you are a runner, do what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, I'm going out for a long run. I'm doing it in honor of those who can't now. Uh, man, it, it's tough. It really is tough. Um, I really do appreciate all of your guys' support, every single one of you. I've been getting nothing but tons of messages from you guys. Uh, I really very much appreciate it. Please continue to keep those th uh, prayers and thoughts going for those in Boston. Uh, I'm safe, I'm totally good, um, but there's a lot who are not tonight. Uh, but tomorrow, I'm going to be strapping on my running shoes, and I'm going to get out there and, and run. And I hope you guys do too. And maybe this will inspire some of you who don't run to run. Uh, share your stories. Um, I would love this video to be somewhere where people can continue that sense of community. So if you would like in the comments below to, to talk about why you run uh, or talk about a, a story that you would like to share that involves running, please do. Please use it as that form. Um, otherwise, again, I very much appreciate you guys and uh, continue to be awesome. Continue to be my family. <laughs>